This is Lemmy with Revzilla. Welcome to my office for the day. I'm at Santa Catalina Island, running around on Honda's new monkey bike. Now, this bike doesn't have too much to it. Technically speaking, we're talking 125 cc's and four speeds. So far, we're about a mile into our 10.7 mile test loop, and it's been everything I've expected, a whole bunch of fun. Let's take a ride and see what this thing can actually do. Santa Catalina Island is kind of an interesting place in that there aren't really many cars there. So there's all sorts of alternative transportation. There's golf carts all over the place. There are a couple of very tiny cars. You'll see lots of motorcycles. And I don't think I've ever seen so many Japanese K trucks in one spot in all my life. Honda's not stupid. They want to bring the monkey to a place where it's absolutely going to shine. And Santa Catalina Island was that place. With the highest speed limit on the island that I found of 35 miles an hour, something like the monkey is absolutely perfect. It's a beautiful place to go ride. I could picture it doing similarly well in a very urban environment too, somewhere where top speed doesn't really matter, but size, portability, compactness, and ease of parking really stand out. Now, of course, this would be the time in a review normally when I sold you on the spec sheet. I'd tell you what your dollars were buying. However, there's not a single spec here that actually matters. The thing's under braked, it's under damped, it's under sprung, and there's not enough power. So the question is, how much fun are you actually having in this bike? So I can tell you from riding it, I had a ball. I loved this bike. Bike. I enjoyed riding it a whole bunch, and I imagine most people who swing a leg over the monkey will completely agree with me on it. The reason this bike is so cool is because people who are new to motorcycling will get on it, and it will be sort of a safe introduction to motorcycling. They're going to be happy to ride this motorcycle simply because they're enjoying the benefits of motorcycling. They're exploring what motorcycling is all about, and that is fun in and of itself. Now, for a more experienced rider, of course, what they're going to be doing is testing out the limits of the machine as well as themselves as a rider. Because this thing is relatively tame on power. It's also rather light. It means that this bike can do lots of things that most riders wouldn't attempt on a larger or faster motorcycle. As you can see, I did myself. Alrighty, so perhaps this wasn't the most exhaustive press launch I've ever been on. If I believe my odometer, I put 13 miles in this motorcycle. However, I don't need a bunch of seat time on this. I have lots of seat time on a Grom, and let's be honest, these two bikes are kissing cousins. Both bikes are simple, they're fun, they're light, they're easy, they're everything a motorcycle should be. So the big difference here between this and a Grom obviously is gonna be the styling, and with this retro styling, Honda's really hitting a lot of different riders here. I think this may be a motorcycle that could appeal to three different generations of motorcyclists. Not something that necessarily happens all the time. What Honda's done here really is made a bike that's not just the perfect first bike, but could also be the perfect last bike too. And of course, it's gonna fit all sorts of riders in between. Honda did a wonderful job with the new monkey. However, I think they have one step left in order to make this thing an absolute smash hit. However, I don't have enough time in this video to tell you all about it. Swing by my article over on Common Tread, and I'll tell you exactly what I think Honda needs to do to make this thing something you're gonna find in everybody's garage. As always, I'm Lem, I'm out of here. Yeah.